To install the EC3 connectors, you'll need several tools. A 40 watt soldering iron, rosin core solder, pliers, wire stripper, 1.5 millimeter hex driver or flat blade screwdriver, and the EC3 connectors themselves. Strip one battery lead approximately two millimeters. It is important to only strip one wire at a time to prevent an accidental short. Using your solder and soldering iron, tin the exposed end of the wire. Make sure you completely tin the wire and avoid a possible cold solder joint. Tin the inside of the EC3 connector just as you had tin the wire. Please note that the tubes of the EC3 connectors are used on the battery connection while the pins are used on the ESC. Place the tinned wire into the tinned EC3 connector. Use your soldering iron to solder the two joints together. A clean and properly tinned soldering tip will help provide a cleaner solder joint. Well, the EC3 connector is still warm from when you soldered the wire to it, insert it into the plastic housing. Use either a 1.5 millimeter hex driver or a flat blade screwdriver to assist in this process. You'll feel a pop when the connector is properly locked into the housing. Make sure you verify your polarity before you insert the connector into the housing. Finally, repeat these steps with your other battery lead or ESC connection to complete your assembly process. The EC3 connectors can be quick and easy to install, but take your time. It's more important to get the job done properly than to get it done quickly.